welcome back to another episode, episode edition installment of Coming Soon, where I look at new to me Blu-ray releases that will be coming soon to an e-tailer. I, I see, I wanna say retailer, but I don't know how many retailers really stock discs anymore, unfortunately. So let's say to an e-tailer near you. So I just got a package from my close personal friends at MVD. They send it FedEx, it says extremely urgent on it, and it's just goofy movies I'm gonna talk about. So <laughs> these are new to me. Uh, some of these I ask for, some of them I don't, which is cool. So it's, a, it's always like a little Christmas, it's always like a little surprise. So first up, from Unearthed Films, we have The Sound of Summer. This film is new to me. This is new on Blu-ray. I'll show you, I'll read you the back of the box. I'll tell you what's gonna be on this. I'll tell you everything shy of my experience with it because I, I just unwrapped it. So The Sound of Summer, original soundtrack by Microchip Terror and special effects by Suzumu Nakatani uh, of Virtus, Versus and Psycho Equals. I'm not sure what that is. In the relentless heat of a grueling summer, temperatures soar to blistering levels as, as cicadas Ooh, it's a bug movie. Cicadas emerge to sing their ear-shattering song. Months of continued exposure are enough to make anyone start to feel a little off. Anyone, that is, except the oddity the locals call the... Am I saying it right? Cicada? Cicada Man. Who is that strange man and why is he always walking around with boxes of live cicadas? This movie is not going to be for some people in this household. Uh, more importantly, what does he do with them? This is a Japanese movie, so it can really go anywhere. Uh... <laughs> As the heat starts to get to our heroine, I'll be watching this movie alone, and her sanity depletes, real life and delusion begin to mix. So this is a this is a creepy bug movie. So uh, extras, we have behind the scenes of The Sound of Summer, Tokyo Talk Show with the creators of The Sound of Summer, Loud and Legendary Director Shozen Fukui, uh, Japanese premiere with director and cast, and trailers. It is uh, 16 by 9. I mean, pretty much everything is at this point. 178, so it will fill your HD screen. 75 minutes. This film has already won my heart. To find a Japanese movie that's less than two hours is a rarity. To find a modern Japanese movie that's... And I love the Japanese. I have very close friends who are Japanese. I love Japanese films. They just tend to make rather long films. 75 minutes, color 2.0, PCM sound. Uh, Japanese language, English subtitles. This is Unearthed Films Region A. This is a... I did look it up this time. This is a June 13th, 2023 release. So that's about, about a month out from where I record this. And uh, that's what the inside looks like, just a picture on the disc. So uh, yeah, The Sound of Summer, a film I will be watching alone. Up next from our friends at Radiance Films, really liking what Radiance Films is doing. This is Red Sun. This is also a, uh, I mean, let me verify this. This is a June, just, just enjoy the box while I look at my notes. This is a June the 20th release, so June 20, 2023. And as, as always, look in the description under this video. I will put all the release dates. I will put the Amazon buying links. If you click to, through those buying links, even if you don't buy it, it'll give you the uh, release date. Um, they often will discount things by about 30% too. It is release date and all the specs. So if I forget to mention something, it'll all be there. So Red Sun, this is a world Blu-ray premiere, which is often the case with Radiance Films releases. And this is numbered uh, six. So Radiance Films, I think they've been working a little bit longer in England and the UK than they have in the US. So they may actually have more releases over there than here, but this is the sixth one here. And a film by Rudolf Thom, Thome, Thome. Uh, limited edition, 2000 copies. Thomas takes refuge in his ex-girlfriend's apartment, a commune-like arrangement where the girls vow to kill their boyfriends after five days. Wow. Will Thomas realize it before it's too late? A pop fantasy compared to a comic strip by Wim Benders. Red Sun is an avant-garde, an art guard collision that is both brilliantly bizarre and provocative. This sounds great. Uh, select scene audio commentary with the director, uh, visual essays on the film and new German cinema, extensive booklet, reversible sleeve. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, front cover I've shown you, back cover I've shown you. And they always do this, like, Japanese obi strip thing, which is inside the sleeve. So if you don't want this on here, you can slip that out and see the full sleeve, which is cool. And they do the clear case thing. So we have, oh, this is a hefty booklet. That is what it looks like when you open it up. You take out the disc carefully and you take out the booklet and you've got your reversible, reversible cover there. And this is a, you hear that? This is a hefty booklet. This is, uh, yeah, this is like, I'm not, I'm not kidding. This is a, a hefty, a lot of words. 
a lot of words, a lot of pictures in that. So um, that is some, some fine reading I'll have ahead of me. And I'm looking forward to this movie. I love the Euro style of film. I love 70s Euro films, especially when they have that interesting pop art, op art, whatever you want to call it, aesthetic. So that is out from Radiance Films on the 20th of June, 2023. And the last one here is from Cult Epics. Cult Epics is a really interesting label. They do a lot of Euro stuff. They do a lot of saucy stuff. They put out the Tinto Brass movies. They've got that Tinto Brass uh, book and Blu-ray, 4K Blu-ray set coming out. And this is A Question of Silence. Never heard of it, uh, which is exciting to me that I've never, it's a film by Marlene Goris. They have never met before, but they agree to kill together. It almost sounds like Badlands, funny enough. Uh, riveting and controversial movie of must-see, says the LA Times. This is from 1982 from the Netherlands, Dutch language with optional English subtitles, uh, 2.0 sound, uh, 166 aspect ratio in color, and this is an all-region disc. So if you're listening to this from uh, the Netherlands, you could watch this on your player. Three women strangers with no premeditated thoughts kill a male shopkeeper in the middle of the day. A female psychiatrist is assigned to the case to find out why. This product, provocative, radical, acclaimed feminist film was a hit both in Holland and abroad when it was first released in theaters and is a feminist classic today, directed by Marlene Garris, Goris, I'm sorry, of the Oscar Willen and Tonya's Line. It's a film that I've heard of. So uh, yeah, this is cool. This sounds interesting. And uh, if you look on the inside, you get the disc, you get the, uh, again, the power of the clear sleeve, reversible sleeve, nice image there. And uh, that is coming out on the 13th of June from Cult Epics. I like Cult Epics. I hope to get more stuff from Cult Epics. So just short and sweet today. That's really, that's, that's just what I have in. If you're interested in any of those titles, look at the links below. You can find more information, order them if you want to. And uh, I just thought it would be kind of cool to share. That's why I do these. I know these things aren't coming out for a month, but to actually see what the packaging is like and hear what the extras are is uh, something I personally would enjoy. And I enjoy uh, sharing that with you. So until next time, I am Mark and I will see you right here.